Welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. Thanks for joining me on this gorgeous, beautiful, God blessed day. It's honestly so beautiful, you guys. It's not even funny. We're so blessed to be living the life we live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking, subscribing. Thank you to Jana for the beautiful donation she made. I really appreciate it. I bought a deck with it. I see you, baby. I see you. Okay. Also, thank you guys so much for just always the kind, loving comments. They make my fucking day. I'm not even lying. Thank you. I love you. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, I only do them over the phone. Um, so if you got WhatsApp, that's a really good, that's a really good way to communicate with me. Um, my PayPal is down there. The prices are listed. So if you guys want to book a personal reading, that's what's up. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's get into what is your person thinking about you in their heart space that they do not tell anybody walking this planet. Okay. So here we have this gorgeous, beautiful rainbow aura, gorgeous, beautiful rainbow aura pile number one. Pile number two, we have this gorgeous rose quartz, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful angelic rose quartz pile two. Pile number three, I'm gonna put these aside so they don't confuse you guys while you choose. Pile number three, we have this beautiful fluorite, gorgeous fluorite, green fluorite. Pile number three, okay? What is my person thinking about me? Pile number four is this beautiful, gorgeous heart. Beautiful, gorgeous heart. Beautiful, gorgeous heart. Sick. Okay, so really get into it. Physically go to the one, close, open your eyes and close it a couple times. And the one that physically keeps drawing you, close your eyes. That's what's up, okay? If you didn't choose your pile, go to pause the video or go to the beginning of the video and pause it because that's where the picture is and that's where you can really get into your heart and choose, okay, my baby? So just go and pause, pause, pause. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, where are we at here? Um. All right, so let's get into it. Those babies. My baby loves who chose this beautiful, gorgeous pile number one, rainbow aura quartz. Oh my gosh, heavens almighty. The fucking Beyonce of my crystal selection here. Pile number one. All right, so thanks for liking, subscribing. Thank you for joining me on Beautiful Love Tarot here. I love you guys so much. Thanks for your beautiful comments. Thanks for the donation of the deck. And if you guys have any questions about twin flames, karmic relationships, cutting cords, past life, anything, how to heal from a broken heart, go on to my other channel that's linked down below, Cherish Love Talks. There you can have tea with me and cry your eyes out, okay? If you want an in-person reading, the information's below. I am taking in more, I do have more time to do personal readings now. So the li lists are below and I only do it through phone, okay? I only do it through the phone. So if you have WhatsApp, that's what's up, okay? WhatsApp is so good because my girls are all around the world. So yeah, so I'm doing readings. So just email me, holler at me and I can do a reading for you. Um, all right, so let's get into it. My pile number one, what is my person thinking about me? In their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this planet, okay? Okay, so this is your advice card from your ancestors and angels that walk with you. I'm gonna put it to the end of the reading. All right, my beautiful baby, let's get into it and see what the hell your person's, see the tea, see the, get the tea on what's your person. And of course, we always start off with the beautiful love oracles that I custom made. We have three of them here. And this is the meat to the bones, the nitty gritty of what's really, when your beautiful fucking face pops up to your person's head, this is what really, 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 really hardcore gets them the th three things that pop to their head when they think about you. Catalyst. Wow. Catalyst. Opening up with the powerhouse. Oh my God. I'm so in love. 
I'm so in love with you. A little razzle dazzle, a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> okay, here, all right, all right, all right, damn. Powerhouse, we open up with a catalyst. Powerhouse of a card, you guys. Because y'all know when we have someone that comes in our life and changes us, that's fucking, that's pinnacle. That never really happens to people, you know? All right, so further getting into the feelers of the heart space of your person, we have... I can feel you on my baby. I know what you're thinking. If that's all right. Second one we have is give your relationship a chance with this bitch with her Tina Turner hair and this 1980s Rico Suave looking guy. But his, you know, his biceps are pretty nice, you know? Give your relationship a chance. Present energy. That's the present energy, you guys. And then we have yes, yes, bitch, yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So this guy definitely check the box. You check off everything for this fella, for this person you're asking about. Okay, let's get into it. Start off with your tarot here. We have the Knight of Wands. Ooh, look at this bitch's hair, you guys. I've never seen this card. This is a new deck. I never look at cards. You all, you all know me. I don't cherry pick my shit. I just pray on it and creator God source. I ask for the guidance and they come through. Wow, okay, so this might be the page. Page of Wands. Everything about this card screams beautiful, gorgeous. This is the most beautiful woman I have seen in this whole entire fucking deck, as a matter of fact. Everything in this whole entire like card screams to me gorgeous, beautiful, fucking exquisite. Uh, art, you're a piece of walking art. Your person thinks that you're fucking angelic, reincarnated person brought to this earth to, oh my, I can't even put words to what your person's on first contact, what your first in person first felt about you because you are such, not only to this guy are you a walking god, but to every single person who's blessed enough to be in your vicinity, you are a walking goddess. That was what, honestly, he was just overtaken with lust when he first met you. Okay, I'll shut the hell up and I'll finish with the tarot cards. Oh my God. But they speak to me. They speak to me. Six of wands. Yes. Yes. Trophy wife. Trophy wife fives, you guys. Trophy wife. King of cups. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. The situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions. This guy has great intentions for you. He loves you. My watcher, this guy... Oh my gosh, this person loves you uh, like a powerhouse, like a brick of heaven on earth just poured onto this earth right in front of him. He loves you. If you are wondering how your person feels about you, he fucking loves you. He wants to just grab you by both cheeks and just smush your little cute little baby nose and he just wants to tell you I'm in love with you. I've, I'm so in love with this guy's very in love with you. Very in love with you. Holy man. Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yep, you best believe, mm-hmm. Yeah, she don't fuck around. He's really turned on from your power, I have to say. Also, the chariot, yeah, he's just all about you. He's all about you, he wants to just move forward with you, he loves you, you're a victory, you're a trophy wife. We have the six of wands here, which is the gallivant, the victorious person coming back to town and just winning. This is your guy. He just returned back to his hometown, his little hella tiny village, a champion because he just found a fucking trophy wife. Wherever he is, golf tournaments, NBA games, if he has you on his arm, he already fucking won because he just, he's, he won. I won by future. That's your guys' homework after this song. Spotify, I won by future featuring Kanye. That's you, trophy wife. That's you. He won. He fucking won the lottery with you. He loves you. So in the past, you, just you knowing him, changed him. You guys, obviously, obviously, this is the love of a lifetime. This is a love of a lifetime. I'm just going to have to say that. 
you changed him to be a better person. When you guys first met, he he is decent. He's a great guy. Like I'm not getting, I'm getting that he's a very great, super great guy. And he's very decent, good hearted, well respected in his community. And you furthered that. You furthered this guy's beautiful, gorgeous journey on his life by just him knowing you because your energy made him better. You might not know this, but he changed a lot of himself because you inspired him to become his better version of himself to fucking donate money to the the uh spca volunteer in his community show up to his cousin's house that he never goes and visits but he's been you know depriving so just making him a better person all around you came into this life and you made this guy better neo better the song pops up to my head neo better if you if y'all know that song that's also something that i want you guys to really spotify after this because this whole section of your guys's love story thus far the past up until now is all about you were making this person better and you with this free yourself card he had a lot in his life that he was holding on to old shitty patterns, old negative thought process, old shitty attitudes when it comes to relationships, loving relationships. But you came in and you really tore his walls down. You tore this guy's walls down. He put his walls down for you to actually love again. He had some high ass walls up y'all and you really helped really tear those down. So, so listen up. Better by Neo is the song that's popping. It popped them to my head, actually, when I first started the reading, okay? So if you want to know how your person's feeling about you, Neo better and I won by future because you are a trophy wife. He loves you, you guys. He fucking loves you. He's so in love with you. If, if you haven't dropped the album yet on you, check out his actions. He's probably sending you texts, uh, forwarding you memes, asking how you're doing this guy loves you what could i say he loves you he's in love with you because he's in love with you that's all he wants to do all he wants to do is just hold you and just love you because he's in love with you the current energy he just wants to like tonight even he just wants to like curl up on the couch in front of the fireplace and watch netflix with you that's all he wants to do is right off into the beautiful sunset and be with you forever and ever, amen. I'm gonna love you forever. So you guys actually are a really good couple because um, we have a king and queen here, y'all. So this is a very great couple because you're all eyes on him. Look at, she's looking at his picture. The mutual, the thirst is mutual. You guys love each other equal. Those little cute little bubbly feelings you get about when you think about him, he gets the exact same and he's ready for change. He's ready for taking the next steps. You're ready for change. You guys are both ready for change and the change is going to be super amazing and the outcome is going to, shit is going to start popping off you guys. You guys, stuff, if, if stuff has seemed like slothy and really snaily movement right now, slow moving relationship, it's because he's so in fucking love with you he's really like he loves you that's it he wants this to happen he wants to move forward he wants you guys to be an item because he sees you as his equal and being 50 50 and all eyes on the prize he found you you are so gorgeous you're the beyonce you're the fucking trophy wife of his life he's you're everything he's ever prayed for and then more so he's ready to take this next step with you are you ready to say yes my watcher are you ready to say yes to this guy's love because this guy's all about you this guy's so in love with you he really wants to just move forward and start this magical new beginning with you look at he just wants to move forward guns a blazing take the next step whether it's becoming facebook official instagram official friends official moving in together engagement he wants to take the next step with you okay he loves you he fucking loves you, you guys. He wants the magic to happen and you guys to move forward in this beautiful love story. This beautiful love story that you guys are making, okay? You guys are going to be that old couple sitting on the rocking chair telling your grandkids about how your love withstood the fucking test of time, okay? So that is how your person's feeling about you. He's in love with you. You Beyonce ass, whoever the fuck you are. You're beautiful as hell and this guy knows it. And he, you're a trophy wife. You're, he won when he met you and he's ready to take the next step. And I'm getting really good energy from him, you guys. I feel like he's a nice person. I love him too. I love you too, you little cute little stinker. All right, advice from your ancestors and angels just for you personally, my beautiful baby. Do, 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 do. Empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. 
So make sure whether you're a social worker, a nurse, a carpenter, a physics, a fucking store worker, general manager, whatever the hell you do in life, make sure that you clear your energy. And every day before you go into the, your work environment, every day you go work with clients, every day you have any kind of like, before you go to concerts, before you go to doctor's offices, Bars are the worst also, especially if they're 600 year old bars. Oh my lord. There's always such some dingy ass spirits that hang around there. It's so annoying. Anyways, that's why I don't like going to bars. They're too... There's always dingy ass um, spirits hanging out there. Anyways, so you pick up your empathic mind watcher. You're a very beautiful... Not only are you gorgeous on the outside physically, like honestly, bitch, you're represented from the hottest chick in this desk. I'm not lying. This is the hottest chick in the whole entire deck, you guys. I would marry you. If I knew you, I would marry you, whoever's watching this. Um, but yeah, definitely you're empathic. You're psychic in a lot of ways. So you are always going to pick up on the energy of any room that you walk in. So make sure that you're saging yourself, saging your environment, asking the white light of the Holy Spirit, aka the Godhead, to really cover you and caress you with the white light to protect you in any kind of environment you go in. After you meet with a client, also make sure that you're protecting your light. And let motherfuckers know that in your prayer, say make sure that my light is going, I'm not absorbing or taking in anybody's energy, but I'm keeping my white light energy and I'm also protecting myself with this white light energy. Meditation will really help you, you guys. Meditation will help you further this... Um, protection of yourself because being an empath you pick up a lot of different energies including the happy great ones so make sure when you're getting out in nature which is the frequency of 763 the deepest presence when you're laying in the grass make sure that you're really absorbing the environment because you're empathic so you'll really recharge your batteries by going laying in grass laying in the sun laying in the beach laying by the river okay so make sure to take advantage of that medicine the natural medicines of the earth because you're a psychic and you need to start really taking care of that gift you're picking up on a lot of shit that you shouldn't be picking up on okay so yes my baby i love you so much stay gorgeous stay blessed you're obviously blessed as hell according to what the fuck i'm seeing stay blessed stay gorgeous and i love you and see you next time hi my beautiful babies who chose this beautiful gorgeous rose quartz angel how's my person feeling about me my pile number twos who chose this beautiful gorgeous rose quartz angel how is my person feeling about me in their hot space that they don't tell anybody nobody knows you guys nobody fucking knows okay so let's get into it pile number two Thank you for joining me for Beautiful Love Tarot. I love you guys so much. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos with your crazy ass auntie and your crazy ass cousins. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful loving comments and thank you to Jana for donating. I bought that deck. Thank you. I really love you. <laughs> and if you guys want a personal reading, all the information's down below. Holler at me. I am international, so I, I use WhatsApp as a via phone, okay? So holler at me if you want a personal reading. If you have any questions about what the fuck I'm talking about, past life regression, how to heal a broken heart, how to ward off demonic entities, pretty much anything under God's green sun, just go on to my channel, link down below, uh, Cherish Love Talks, and then we can sit face to face and talk about stuff, okay? So thanks for joining me with your beautiful presence, okay? So let's get into your reading. How is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space? That they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this earth, okay? So your guidance from your ancestors and angels and bodyguards, I'm just going to put this at the end. This is advice for you personally, okay? From your angels. All right, let's get into it. The beautiful love oracles here that I custom made. This is the powerhouse sentences of what your person feels about you when you, they lay their head down at nighttime and they're ready to go to bed and they just think about you and you pop into their head. This is what they think about damn 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 okay here we go all right ocho cinco wanted me ocho cinco wanted me we open up with ocho cinco wanted me <laughs> uh, 
your person is a comedian. First of all, I'll get into what the fuck that means. First, I just want to lay out all the cards for you, okay? <laughs> you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. <laughs> He's intimidating. You have your guy's panties in a wad, my watcher. No! All right, further into the feelers. Children, your love life is being affected by some kids. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So your guys, your guys, this person, the vibes I'm getting, definitely scared shitless. <laughs> scared shitless of you. Really scared shitless. He's going back and forth in the present energy. Your person's going back and forth in the present present energy of I want to express my feelings to her, but I'm really scared of her. Like I'm really scared of her, but I want to tell her how I feel, but I'm really scared of her. Your person's a comedian. He's funny. He has a lot of jokes. He's the prankster. He's the life of the party. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people in, in situations. So your person is definitely really trying to remain positive when it comes to you. He's really trying to think positive and count his ducks, okay? Your person, when it comes to you, when your beautiful face pops in his head, he's really trying to stay, look at the cup half full when it comes to you. Further into his feelings, we'll do your tarot also. Okay, opening up with your tarot cards, we have the two of wands. Death, which people are always scared shitless of cards, but it's my favorite card is death. The tower is the one you should be scared of because that one hurts like a bitch. Um, ooh, <laughs> yes, yes, this is such a good card. So this is the present energy that your person's feeling right now when it comes to you in their heart space. They want to move away from... <sighs> they want to move away from the turbulence of the past because we all know that y'all went through some really shitty some really arguments and a really hectic time in the past you guys you guys went through this huge fight in the near past some arguments some words were exchanged you guys had in the past look at even this one hostility a lot of hostility a lot of arguments you guys exchanged some words you guys disagreed probably broke up and he wants to get over the past kiss your ass and move the fuck forward okay because he pissed you off you guys got into a mad, mad agreement, disagreement, and he just wants to start all over with you, okay? Let me read this. The present energy. You guys really got into this big fucking fight in the past, so this is the present energy that he wants to move forward and get back to good. He wants to really start all over in this present energy, you guys, is uh, look at the boat moving into a happier paradise, Miami. Looking place, Miami Beach. Let's read it, okay? This is his present energy when it comes to you. Peaceful times are on the horizon. The storms have passed, and now you can see that your destination is within sight. The stress in your life begins to fade away, allowing for happier times. It may be necessary to take a journey over water or another country. So your person just wants to really leave the sadness and the pain and the heartache from the past in the past. When it comes to you guys, he wants to leave it in the past. He wants to leave it there. He wants to end that chapter. He's ashamed, and he's hella, hella embarrassed that... He had to, you, no, he's not embarrassed. He's not embarrassed. He's just really wants to move over the hurtful time that you guys have went through together because he's in pain. It was like such a fucking painful time for him in the past when it came to you. You obviously checked him, checked his ass, ripped him a new asshole and dumped him in the past, okay? Let me see here. Then we have the eight of cups. Yeah, walking away from the sadness of the past. He, look at look at this guy in this card really kissing her ass. Hey, really like, no, but wait, I have so much to say. Like, please, you know what I mean? This is like the pinnacle ass kissing card. So your person's going to come in, really doesn't want you to say no. But he's trying to stay positive. He's really going to come in. He wants to move away from the sadness of the past and all the fuck ups from the past. And he just wants to move forward with you. Your person's really going to kiss your ass and be apologetic. I really know. I hope he knows what the hell he did wrong. Seven of swords. Deception. 
Why is he being a deceitful little cunt? That's my question. Why is your person thinking that there's just going to be deception in the future? I know there's obviously deception in the past with this guy that you're asking about because... Let's keep it real here. We have the death card. There's lies. There was deception in the past. Something was hidden. They were trying to keep shit hidden in the dark in the past. So you put, a, you put the brakes on that shit. You, you checked him ASAP. We all know this. You checked him ASAP in the past. You broke up with his ass because you love yourself enough not to know not to settle for that shit. Good for you, my watcher. Um, he obviously has some tendencies to pull tantrums, be a baby bag bitch. He's still a child in a lot of ways, you guys. He still has a lot of inner ch child work he has to heal. He has a lot of growing up to do compared to you. So in the future, he doesn't see it even going that far because he doesn't see how you guys can heal this. And he still f is in this deceptive energy, you guys. The Seven of Swords is all about like deception, right? So there was deception and shadows in the past and he still sees it continuing in the future with you. You might, you might have stepped out also on him in this current energy and in the, you know, he doesn't blame you because he did it first kind of thing, but he just doesn't see it getting better. He's trying to stay positive, but he's not that positive because we have deception in the future. You guys, he doesn't see it. He wants to move out of the shitty, sh the shitty arguments of the past the shadows of the past, the lies, the deceptions of the past, but he's not so optimistic about it because we have the deception card here. And no, like in fucking capital letters, he's a jokester. We all know he's a clown. Ocho Cinco Wanted Me is all about arguments, fighting. <laughs> when this card pops up in this kind of reading, Ocho Cinco Wanted Me, y'all got to YouTube that shit. It's all about getting into fights, arguments, a tit for tat relationship. So you guys went tit for tat. I'll hurt you, you hurt me. In the past, it was all about I'll hurt you, you'll hurt me. A lot of childlike behaviors were displayed. And he doesn't, he wants to move away from that shit. He wants to like start all over with you. But he doesn't even know how it's going to work long term because he just doesn't, he's not thinking positive about um, the longevity of this relationship. Trust was broken in this relationship. Too many, too many. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So if you guys chose to stay in this relationship, cause this guy is trying to think positive, but he's not, he's like 70% negative in the far future. He doesn't see it being too productive of a relationship. If he continues with you. Okay. I'm just going to show you these cards here really quick because Oh my God. And we cut in the fucking nine of, do you see that? The nine of swords here, cut the deck, the nine of swords. Okay. So if you guys choose to carry on in this relationship, this is sources intake on the, this is God's intake source energies intake on the outcome. He's going to love you. Yes. He's going to love you in the future. If you guys do choose to carry on. Your person's hella negative though. It's annoying me. Anyways, he's a jokester. He's a practical jokester, but he's hella negative and he's trying to act positive, but he's not trying to act positive. I don't know. He's a back and forth hot and cold energy who has a lot. He has a lot of fucking growing up to do you guys. We have the children card here. This is represented. I always take this as whatever the reading shows me and the energies that I pick up. So definitely your person has a lot of growing up to do and maturing to do. Um, so yes, if you do continue in this 
relationship with this person, yes, he will love you. This wisdom is going to be gained from this relationship because you guys are both going to, this is going to be a lesson relationship. This relationship is practice for the real love that you're supposed to get if you choose to continue. If, but if you love and respect yourself and know your self-worth, you will peace out. <laughs> so if you choose to stay, it's just going to be a lot of wisdom learning on both your ends, but mostly you. Because you would be dumbing yourself down. If you stayed in this relationship, you would really be dumbing yourself down for real. And relationships are meant to be 50-50, not fucking 80-20 or 70-30. Relationships are meant to be 50-50. So you would just be taking a step back in your spiritual journey. If you, you would be dumbing yourself right the fuck down if you chose to stay with this person. But wisdom would be gained if you chose to stay. You'd be working your ass off all the fucking time. This relationship would drain you. It would just be meticulous work. And a lot of fighting. We have seven of wands. See this little bitch is grabbing her stick to go and fight. It'd just be straight up scrapping. You guys would be fighting all the damn time. And the last card at the last ultimate outcome card is the emotional poverty card. The emotional deprivation. You'd be always left alone in your house or room, bedroom, sad, crying over this guy. Because he would just be emotionally checked the fuck out. Because he's childish. He's a little boy. I don't know, like, respect yourself enough to peace out and know what you deserve. Look at you're so gorgeous as hell. You're so beautiful and he knows it. Subconsciously, you're so intimidating because he recognizes your power and he knows you deserve better. You deserve better, my watcher. All right, so advice from your angels regarding this union or just, pardon me, not regarding this union, for you. It, this is advice for you from your angels. A new earth, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Don't give up now. You're closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels as if so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you're facing the right direction. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend to the new seeds. Dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Please keep your... Uh, Focus fixed, okay? Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the ages is no mean a small feat. It requires extreme trust and radical vision. If you pull this card, it's a reminder to have faith. You chose to be here to be part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing it about through prayer and meditation or through working on a new project, job, or creation, keep going. It's happening, so please don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you. So more people will have hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing. Ushering in a new age in times of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that when you've been working towards for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now. Don't waver. Dig your devotion deep. For if you do in the not too distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that you've so carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. It's possible. Keep focusing on your dreams. You're closer than you think. This is the message from the ancestors and your angels that walk with you every single minute of the day. To, this is what they really want you to know. Just know that you're on the right direction and to keep faith. And they see your struggle. They see your hurting. But just keep going. Keep at it. Keep going. You're surrounded with so much love. You're such a beautiful, huge heart. Don't forget how much protection you guys have. And you're, just keep the faith. Keep the faith. You use the affirmation. I have trust. I have utter faith. I am full of faith. Thank you for the faith. Thank you for the faith. Okay? Remember, faith and love are the number one things in life, you guys. Just keep the faith. You're doing fucking phenomenal, my watcher. Okay? I love you so much, and thanks for joining me for Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful babies, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So, this is for my gorgeous loves who chose this beautiful fluorite, this beautiful green fluorite crystal. It's so gorgeous and beautiful. Um, this is pile number three. How is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this planet, okay? So, let's get into it. Um, Thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. The more that we share and really get shit out there, the more I can do this full time. 
be there for you, look into your eyes and tell you the truth juice, you know what I mean? So I really thank you guys for all the beautiful likes, comments, and sharing. Thank you for Jana for the donation, I bought a deck. If you guys want a private reading to get into your situation, I do phone readings, okay? So the all the information is listed down below if you want an intimate, more, gen, uh, more specific reading, okay? All right, let's get into it. So I have this advice card from your ancestors and angels who walk with you on the daily basis and watch your every single move. I'm going to put it to the side for after your reading, and that's advice for you specifically for you okay since you're a hot snack all right so this is beautiful love oracles i custom made made 200 of these babies and this is the deep nitty gritty feels of what your person feels about you deep down in their heart space when they your beautiful ass face pops in their head when they're five drinks down in mexico when they're putting their head on their beautiful little fluffy pillow at nighttime this is what pops in their head okay when they think a yeah Gaze into your eyes forever. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> we can't touch the storms. We found love. This pains me as much as it pains you. So thankful God sent you. Wow, you guys. Okay, what song am I channeling? We can't touch the stars above water. We found love. And oh, I know what song that is. I'll write it down for you guys. One sec. Oh, okay, you know what song that I'm channeling that's really coming through hard? Heart. Heart is joyride mariah carey so your homework after this reading is to definitely um definitely spotify joyride by mariah carey because that's how your person's feeling about you i picked it up right away that song so check it out it's such a f oh my gosh you guys oh my gosh it's one of those like beautiful like gorgeous beautiful as fuck love songs of the entire nation and universe all right, so further into this person's feels for you, you deserve love. Make the effort. Oh, your guy, rest. You've been working hard, take a nap. Your guy has um is very empathic. Your person's super sensitive. He picks up on a lot of energies all the time. He has a huge heart. Very huge heart. He's probably in the 12th house of Pisces because they have this thing, especially if you're male, where they pick up on energies hella fast. And they just, especially men, ain't too equipped to the spiritual health, which is the most fucking important kind of health that you have to be really super. Like, your person needs to learn how to quit giving so much of himself to things that are not... He's beating on dead horses a lot of your person's relationships i know i'm kind of going off on a tangent here but a lot of your person's in, uh relationships in his life whether it's with family members co-workers childhood friends drain him a lot and that's kind of contributing to the way he acts in your relationship because he gives so fucking much to people all the time because he's naturally a giver very sensitive very empathic so he definitely um and he ends up with crumbs you know what i mean he does. He has a big fucking heart, dear person. Holy. Okay, let's get into it here. We have Nine of Pentacles. Holy. Hey, this guy's just going to put some Indian medicine on. <laughs> Holy. Okay, let's get further into your tarot here. Page of Wands. Yeah, your person's really obsessed with you. <laughs> your person's really obsessed with you, my watcher here. Messenger of thought. So this is the page of swords. Definitely obsessed with you, spying on you all the time, checking your social medias out because you're that bitch. Checks to see what you've been up to. He's in love with you. He's obsessed with you. Like, straight up. Very obsessed with you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so next for tarot, we have Six of Cups. 
All he does is fantasize about you. And why this bitch is wearing tube socks on a hot ass day, I will never know. I just don't understand. The tower. So, um, yeah, this guy, hey, very freaking brutal. Very brutal. Um, he's very obsessed with you in like a codependent, unhealthy way, first of all. He's very sensitive. He picks up on a lot of energies. He, he's young. He doesn't, he hasn't mastered his craft. He hasn't mastered his craft on how to master his own filling his own cup up, his own equality in life, building, having that stable foundation in his life, you guys, the security, the safety and stability. He hasn't mastered being his own home yet. He doesn't know who the fuck he is. He doesn't know which lifelong career he wants to do. He doesn't know how he's paying his rent next month. Like your person, he hasn't mastered his craft. He hasn't mastered even the environments that he's in. He picks up on a lot of energies, you guys. He hasn't mastered his own life. He doesn't, he doesn't even know where the fuck he's going in his own life. How is he ever going to satisfy you? Um, you guys are in separation. You guys are not talking right now, but he wants to get out of that. He wants to move forward, communicate. He wants to really get together. He wants to link up. But in the meanwhile, he's comfortable creeping you and obsessing over you. Creeping your life, obsessing over you. Um... Yeah, and in the future, he sees definitely, yeah, so when your guys, when he thinks of you, he thinks about you all the time, he's obsessed with you. And our love goes round and right, yeah, yeah. Joyride, Mariah Carey, so that song, when he thinks about you, it pops up to his head all the time. And uh, so he thinks that this is a current, this current stagnation that you guys are in. He thinks that it's just, you guys are gonna make it out of there. You guys are just, your love goes round and round, cycles. You guys will get out of this, you know, cycle of not talking and he'll quit being a creep. And you guys will just move forward and he's very, like, very fucking pessimistic. He's pessimistic on where the future lies with you. He doesn't really see a future. He doesn't see you wanting to go the long, uh, the long road. He doesn't see any kind of um, making it marriage. He doesn't see no long-term vision with you. Perhaps there was things, words, exchanges, things that you fucking said to him, which is all good in the hood for each their own. But you might have said to this person, fuck you, go fuck yourself. I want nothing to ever do with you. You're dead to me. Along those lines, some really harsh words you might have said to this person via text, via face to face. Thus, this separation, thus, this you walking out of his life, thus, all he does right now is dream about you, think about you, obsess over you. Very super obsessive. Why? Because he's, like I said, he hasn't mastered his own craft, he hasn't mastered his own life. He's trying to find happiness outside of himself. So when he thinks about you, he's thinking, oh, well, she's my happiness. You know what I mean? Instead of the number one rule of life is it's your job to make yourself happy. Each and every morning you wake up, you make your own self fucking happy you do what makes your soul sing you wake up happy every day to live this life again you go jump out of bed and you go run in the woods and go work out you go to the gym you make your own self happy you don't fucking it's selfish to go with someone expecting them to make you happy that is so selfish so this person has the mentality joyride she's gonna be so amazing she's my happiness very codependent he, he hasn't mastered his craft. He hasn't mastered life. The number one rule of life is you become happy. You live in your life purpose. That is when you align with your soulmate. But this person is just thinking that with you, he's going to, you're going to, you're going to make him happy. He's going to find happiness. You're going to make him laugh. Everything very fucking, he has a lot of healing to do and growing up to do lots, 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 lots. He's got to learn some knowledge on himself. He's got to learn how to go within and be alone. 
surrounded he's always surrounded with people all the time thus that's what's really draining his energy he's always surrounded by people all the fucking time and he's empathic i don't know if he knows he's empathic but he takes in a lot of that influence and that's why he's not growing up probably still lives in his mom's basement or his granny's basement he's a baby you guys so he doesn't even see a marriage he doesn't see anything going forward hardcore with you because he doesn't see you giving him a chance he doesn't see you giving him a chance at this point. So he's comfortable just going back and forth, deciding to text you, deciding to reach out to you. Okay, so, so with this, with this guy having to master his craft, finding out who the hell he is in this life, finding out whether, what the fuck he's doing with his sensitive empathic ass, he obsesses, creeps you like nobody's business. I've never read someone who's so fucking into somebody. <laughs> So he doesn't see you ever taking him back. Ow, I said that. He never sees, sorry, I was itching my ear. He never sees you ever taking him back. He never sees you ever giving him another chance. He feels like it's kaput, no marriage, nothing. She's not gonna, she's not gonna take me back is what he's thinking, right? If you proceed in this relationship, it is going to be a lot like a lot of planning for the longevity and you're definitely going to do a lot of planning. You're going to move forward. If you do decide to throw this guy a bone, reach out to him and say, yo, it's okay. You don't have to spy on me 24 seven already. We all know that you're fucking obsessed with me. We all know that you're creeping my life, stalking my life. We all know this stage five stage five fucking stalker so if you want to move forward with me you gotta we gotta make plans we have to make sure this relationship is 50 50 we have to make sure that this is a divine union built on equality and healing all right and sage your motherfucking self you gotta really you know if we're gonna reach out to this guy because he's scared shitless of you um if you move forward my watcher you guys are definitely gonna plan shack up there's gonna be a lot of healing this relationship is really was brought into your life for a lot of healing on both ends, your side and his end. You guys are both going to heal a lot from this relationship if you choose to move forward. There's going to be a lot of healing, the inner child, the mastering of the craft of both you finding who the fuck you are, okay? You guys are can develop, make anything out of this relationship. You guys can manifest any kind of outcome in this relationship together. You guys can manifest any kind of outcome, any kind of healing, any kind of longevity, where you guys will live, how many, you know, if you guys want to really take the plunges in marriage, etc. You, you, the power's in your hands. You can, anything can come from this. You guys can even get married and stay together and die together. You know what I mean? Anything can happen from this relationship, you guys. This relationship is a real wild card here. The power is in your hands. There's going to be a lot of power on both ends. You guys are going to mature a lot from this relationship. You guys, if you choose to move forward with this relationship, you guys are both going to find your powers, your talents, your gifts, the mastering of craft. 
strength. A lot of strength is going to come from this union. A lot of wisdom, a lot of spiritual upgrading, a lot of downloads, a lot of growing together, a lot of strengthening communication, a lot of strengthening the spiritual health, the spirituality, the inner child. A lot of strength is going to come from this union, you guys. This is really pretty dope, actually. Pretty good reading. A lot of great communication skills are going to be learned. A lot of finding out about life. A lot of maturing. You guys will mature together. And you guys, with this obsessed-ass guy, with his, he just loves you, so fucking obsessed with you, you guys will have happiness, okay? He just really has to fucking calm the hell down on being so obsessed with you. Like he has to get a healthy level and make sure that you are making those healthy boundaries with him and telling him to check himself once in a while because he does with his sensitive ass, he'll probably sometimes be a little overbearing because he's so addicted to you. Really fucking addicted to you. You're his addiction, my watcher. But I do see some goodness, great things coming out of this relationship. I do see some really great things coming out of this union. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do. But he just has to check himself when it comes to being obsessed with you because this guy's really fucking obsessed with you. Like, at this moment right now, he's checking your social media. Fuck. Like, I'm not even lying. All right, so the outcome. I mean, not the outcome, pardon me. Advice from your ancestors and angels to you, my watcher. Advice from your ancestors and your guardian angel. The great severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. This is a shadow card, one that may feel confrontational. Don't be afraid. It's here to bring to the surface anything that's standing in the way of letting love in. The warring planet of Mars is our constant reminder that it's important to soften, forgive, to forgive and find our way back to love. There are many things in the human experience that make it difficult for our heart and soul to stay open to the never ending source of love. We're all wounded and our unconscious wounds inflict wounds on others. It can feel like a never ending dance we can never escape. If we aren't careful before long, we'll see the world as a scary, dangerous place where fear and anxiety roam free. If this card surfaces, it could be for two reasons. Firstly, for you to acknowledge the difficult emotions, situations, conflicts, wounds, and fears that are causing you pain and anxiety. And secondly, for you to find your way back to love. When we're hurt, it's normal to close off our heart to the world, to let the painful experience confirm the agony of separation in earthly life. Soften and find your way back to love anyway. When fear, anxiety, and paranoia paralyze you, it's normal to want to hide away from others in the world. Come out of your cave and soften your heart anyway. We're all innocent children spinning our way around the world. Find a way to see the innocence in all people, especially yourself. Please stop cutting yourself off from love. Please soften towards your past. Forgive and let go. Wow. Wow, my beautiful love. You have some walls up, hey? Some deep ass, big ass walls up. Which, you know, for each their own. But I just love you so much. And I really hope this reading has brought some clarity to your light, to your life. And... I love you and I'm sending you healing energy through the camera, okay? I love you and see you next time. Hi, my beautiful loves. Hi, and welcome to Beautiful Love Tarot. So this is for my beautiful babies who chose this clear quartz heart. It's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's full of love, honestly. This is pile number four. What is my person feeling about me deep down in their heart space that they do not tell a motherfucker walk in this planet, okay? So let's get into your writing. My pile number fours. All right, and we have this beautiful advice card from your guardian angel and your grandma and grandpa on the other side. For you, my watcher will leave till the end, to the very last of the reading, okay? Just remind me later, sometimes I forget. So thank you for joining me for Beautiful Love Tarot. Welcome. I love you. Thanks for the beautiful liking, subscribing, and all the gorgeous comments. Don't be afraid to fucking butter it thick, you know? I love, I'm a Leo moon. I love fucking getting flattered the fuck up. So don't be shy, eh? Don't be shy with the comments. And um, if you need a personal reading, all my information's at the bottom. 
if you want a more specific reading. And any advice on karmic relationships, soulmates, how to unite with your twin flame? My other channels linked down below, you can just go on that channel and it gives you life advice. There you can, we can look each other in the eyes, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, my beautiful, gorgeous, boss ass bitch. So the three nitty gritty thesis cards, the Wu-Tang to the Wu-Tang thesis of what your person feels about you deep down. Strong bitch. Wow, my watcher, hey? Lethal, lethal, holy. Magical bitch. <laughs> Are you me? I threw, threw the camera, are you me? Like, what the hell? <laughs> this is a good reading. My queen, wow, holy. Whoever chose this pile, who are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Wanna be bros? <laughs> wow, what a beautiful reading. Damn, your person's in love with you. Your person, if they could, would marry you today. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. So obviously he wants to come back and kiss your ass and come back. Love me again. Playfulness. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. All right. Getting in deeper into what your person thinks about you, even though we all know, we all know. <laughs> oh, I love you. All right, we have the King of Wands here. All action, baby, all action. Oh no, damn, pardon me, not the King of Wands, the Emperor. Holy, wow, you guys. Wow, Four of Wands. Oh my God, I love this reading. Wow, you guys, Four of Wands. Ooh, wow, this person in love. And I'm getting the vibes that your person's hella fine. I'm getting the vibes that your guy's a handsome motherfucker. And he doesn't worry. I'm getting, like, he doesn't worry about anything because he trips shit over you because he likes you for your strength, your intellect, your quick comebacks. You're a go-getter. You're a career-driven woman. You got your bag intact. You're strong. You can probably throw down if need be. You're just everything to match his big dick energy. Cause your guys, your guys' guy is no other normal guy. I'm getting your guy is a big fucking deal. And he's just not any kind of guy. Like your person's a big deal. He's fine. He's good looking. He's hot. He's strong. He's that bitch. He's the Brad Pitt of his town, okay? You guys are fighting right now, obviously. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. But he wants to move forward past all this bullshit that you guys are going through because you're his wife, you're his trophy wife, you're his love. He has only eyes for you. You're his sunshine and rainbows and he wants to move past all of this fighting that you guys are going through. He's lonely, he misses you. He wants to hug you and kiss you and slobber all over your beautiful, gorgeous face when he's like sleeping on top of you at nighttime. I don't know. He just loves you and he just wants to come back and he doesn't want to be all serious about shit. Maybe you guys fought about moving in together. Maybe you all fought about how much babies you are going to have. Something minuscule that you guys can obviously move through because the love is here. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. And then we have, for the outcome card we have. <gasps> oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, you guys. This is the most beautiful fucking card in all of the whole entire, this whole entire deck. Oh my god, you guys. Your really hot, beautiful, hot Brad Pitt husband, future husband, really wants to freaking marry you and ride off into the sunset together and have like 25 kids because he thinks you're hella hot and he wants to pass on your genetics. He wants your genetics to be mixed up with his so you guys can create these beautiful babies because he has never laid eyes on a more fine fucking woman. Like he can just pump his gas at the gas station and look at you all day and look at your ass. Cause you're such a beautiful, fucking fine. He doesn't even know how you were made so perfect. He asks himself, how could God possibly genetically make someone like this? That's unfair. 
You guys together are a powerhouse couple. You guys together are that couple that then when they walk in, all eyes on you guys because you guys are so genetically gorgeous together. Like people would pay for his sperm and your egg. Like you guys should make a business out of that. You guys should really look into making a business out of your sperm and his egg and producing these fucking genetically gorgeous kids because you guys are that couple. Oh my God, I can't even with this reading, you guys. I can't, this is the most beautiful reading ever in the whole entire world of mankind. Wow, you guys. So he wants, he wants to take it light. When he comes back, he doesn't want to fight anymore. He just wants to move forward and get married. He wants to move forward, get married with you, have babies, live this beautiful life together, have you name the kids, he'll name the dogs. He wants just to start this beautiful life with you. Like, oh my God, you guys. Wow, what a beautiful relationship. Your person's really powerful. He has his finances together. He's a boss. You guys are the divine fe feminine, divine masculine, whatever. I read by fucking energies, not genders, but you're a boss ass bitch and he matches that energy. This is a beautiful relationship, you guys. This is gorgeous as hell. So your person in the current energy wants to move away from the battles, wants to move away from the fights. I'll read this card to you really quick. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So you guys are fighting right now. You guys, he just really wants to come back. He just really wants you guys to get together, move past these hardships and just move on because this is the most gorgeous, beautiful, you guys are the most gorgeous, hot, beautiful couple in the whole entire world. And when you, you guys make love, make sure you're harnessing that energy because that is some hella hardcore energy. You guys can manifest the company with that kind of love. Like you guys are powerful human beings walking this earth. You guys are star seeds together, mixed together. Wow. Your guys' kids would be the next generation of light worker warriors. Wow, you guys. And the son, he just wants, he sees you as his baby mama, his wife, his business partner, his best friend. Everything he's ever dreamt of and wanted in this life, you guys, you. And you guys probably even look this fucking same for fuck's sakes. Oh my God. I love you. Whoever you are, I fucking love you. And thank you for just existing because you just blessed me with this gorgeous ass reading. And you just made, you make everybody in your whole entire family and friends and environment believe in love. You do, because this is the love of a lifetime. This is the love that people dream of and are only fucking lucky and blessed to experience. Like, this is the love of a lifetime, you guys. This is the love that poets, Shakespeare, write about and most die never experiencing. Wow, oh my God, I'm so in love. I'm so in love, you guys. It's an honor to read your cards today. It's an honor. Wow, it's such an honor. This guy fucking loves you. And I'm getting really beautiful vibes from this beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my fuck off, fuck right off today, right now. That's enough now. You can't, you guys are so addicted and you guys are so addicted and made for each other. It's not even funny. Okay, let's get into this. So you guys are going to move forward. If you choose to forgive them and take them back, if you got, you know, once you make up the outcome of this relationship, a lot of beautiful ideas, a lot of beautiful ideas manifesting little business, business baby models will pop up. You know what I mean? If you move forward with this relationship, the outcome there's going to be a lot of transformation. There's going to be a lot of overcoming a lot of trials and tribulations, addictions. There's going to be transformation like a caterpillar to the butterfly. Okay. This is one of my most favorite cards in all in the whole entire tarot deck is the devil because I mean, death, pardon me, because it's just really good card because death is transformation. You see the butterfly death is one of my favorite cards. You guys are going to go through transformations, deaths of family members, Possibly, you know, when you're in a fucking relationship, you go through everything with that person, bankruptcy, everything. You guys, this is that relationship. You guys are going to go through like fucking Johnny Cash and June Carter things. Watch that movie. 
And look it, you guys are divine counterparts. You guys shift the energies. Remember I said star seeds coming together to make love? And then you guys are gonna make magical babies? That's you guys. Look it, I can't make this shit up. You guys seen these pop out. This is the divine masculine and the divine feminine. You guys are star seeds from other dimensions brought here, reincarnated on this earth. You guys finally found each other. What the fuck are you waiting for? Get together now and start making this energy because you guys are going to heal hundreds with your presence, with your love. This union is going down in the history books. I'm telling you that. This is the high priestess. These are the counterparts, you guys. This is the yin to the yang, the light to the dark, the water to the fire, the feminine to the masculine. These are 50-50. This is the love of a lifetime. You guys would be fucking crazy if you didn't continue this union and forgive and let go. This union is going to bring a lot of spiritual transformation to not only you, it, this relationship would not only benefit um, you guys, but it's also going to benefit a lot of people. Whatever your life purpose is, which I'm coming out with a video life purpose uh, in like three days, I'm going to upload it. So your guys' life purposes are similar. You guys were brought here at this age and time to really link up, get together, and spread the love and light in this day and age, you guys. This is a powerful pinnacle time in this day and age, and you guys were brought here on this earth being the powerful, strong as fuck bitches that you are to really up the frequency because you guys are high-ass frequency advanced souls. You guys are out of this world pinnacle. Not only are you hot as fuck on the outside, but you're magical you're spiritual, you're high frequency, you're healed. No one likes to fuck with the healed person, you guys. And you guys hella have, through all the trials and tribulations, have been brought together at this life. Finally. Oh my God, what's that song Beyonce sang to Obama at last? So I want, for your homework after this, I want you guys to Spotify at last, that song. At le the original one I think is better but whatever but your song to Spotify after this is at last because finally you guys you twin flame bitches y'all are twin flames y'all are twin flames okay you guys are meant to come and unite in this relate you guys are twin flames do I have to say it again do I have to fucking repeat myself you guys are gonna get married if you choose you know you're going through this um this fight right now whatever you guys are gonna get past it and you guys are twin flames back back from the motherfucking future. You guys are devout counterpoints. You guys are gonna have this beautiful new beginning, this beautiful life of healing and love and happiness. And what more can I say? How more, how more beautiful of a fucking reading could this get? Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you for bringing your abundant ass energy to my channel with your fine ass self. Thank you, whoever you are. This is the most beautiful fucking reading ever in the whole entire existence of mankind. Whoo! And the angels say amen. And the angels congregation, hallelujah. Okay, advice from your guardian angels like you need any bitch. But I'm gonna, you know, the angels when... This is advice from your guardian angel who walks with you on a daily basis, okay? I'm sorry. Defensive list, writing past wrongs, uprooting. I'm sorry, we're living in divisive times when we're hurt and triggered, we tend to see things as a personal attack rather than an opportunity for healing. If we're to find true peace and unity, we need to drop our defenses and see things outside of right and wrong. Everything is polarity in this world. Everyone has a yin and yang. As souls, we intrinsically remember unity and yearn for it here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite. But it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality and pretend that unity, love, and forgiveness are always here 24-7. This is one of the greatest challenges for star seeds. See, bitch, I told you you're a star seed. I told you. To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in which both we and the world have been divisive, personally, ancestrally, and collectively. The shadows, the hate, the wounds, the separation, the backstabbing, the wrongs, and the sadness. You may be called to explore how you, your ancestors, or your society have consciously or unconsciously inflicted pain on others. To find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people. To say, I'm sorry, with an open heart and mean it. To be part of the healing rather than the perpetuation of inherited conflict, segregation, separation, or oppression. This isn't about blame. It's just about unwinding the pattern that got us here. You may be called to devote your time to causes you believe in or do healing work on your ancestral line. 
and then thus that's why all the roots are going in this is a deep dna ancestral card wow you guys this is a powerhouse this is fucking phenomenal this is the most beautiful reading like i can i say more i'm so happy baby thank you so much for just being you thank you for just existing and thank you for bringing your gorgeous energy to this channel because this has been a reading that i'm so blessed that i got to read today you guys oh my god thank god